Welcome back guys. So earlier this week we made our own ginger liqueur. Nice and spicy ginger liqueur from scratch. Now we're going to make four amazing ginger cocktails. Now I have not tried any of these prior to filming this, so this is going to be a treat for everyone. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, click that button, hit that little bell, get notified when we release new content. And why not? Odin has his own channel now. Go subscribe to him as well, sure. <laughs> Alright, we're starting. This first one is called The Hunter's Verdict. Alright, so this is a stirred drink. It's kind of a rum old-fashioned kind of thing. <laughs> so we're starting with two ounces of aged rum. I'm using Havana Club 7-year-old. It's one of my favorite rich aged rums. Very good. But any anything you got, any aged rum you got will work just fine. After that, we're doing three quarters of an ounce of Amaro Montenegro. You could probably sub out another Amaro here if you're uh, if you can't find Montenegro, but it is a really uh, flavorful Amaro. So three quarters of an ounce goes into our mixing glass. All right, close her up. After that, on to our homemade ginger liqueur. Give it a nice shake if you haven't uh, looked at the bottle in a while. And we're only doing a quarter ounce for this drink here. So this is actually the drink of all the four we're doing today, the one that has the least amount of our ginger liqueur. But hopefully that quarter ounce will shine through. All right after that we're gonna do a couple bitters. We're gonna do one dash of Ango. Two dashes. <laughs> I always do extra dashes. And then it calls for one dash of orange bitters. I was out of orange bitters, so I'm gonna do grapefruit bitters. Uh, they're both citrus, why not? Technically that was one dash, but those little bottles dash very slowly, so it was about four tiny dashes. Fill your mixing glass with ice, and then we're gonna give this bad boy a little stir. All right, grab a spoon and stir, stir, stir. 10, 15 seconds. Um, a little longer until the ice is uh, nice and settled. Get a good chill, good dilution. We're gonna serve this guy in a rocks glass with a nice large piece of ice. Look at that. Love those large ice cubes. Grab your julep strainer and let's give it a pour. Oh, this looks really good. I'm looking forward to this guy right here. Good sipper. All right, for garnish, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory with these sipping cocktails. We usually do some sort of citrus peel. So orange peel it is. We're gonna express the oils over there and just slide it in the glass. I decided not to clean this one up. You don't have to. All right, look at that. It looks gorgeous. Can't wait to try it. Our next one, we're using Jaeger. All right, so it's been a long time since I've used Jägermeister in a cocktail, so looking forward to this one here. We also got some rum. This is called the German Vacation. So it's served in a highball glass. It's going to be a refreshing one, hopefully. So we're going to start with one ounce of aged rum using the same one as before. We're using a Havana Club 7. So one ounce this time in a mixing glass. After that, we want one ounce of Jägermeister. So Jägermeister, if you're not familiar, I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar with Jägers. Pretty sure everyone in their youth uh, did some Jäger bombs. But uh, it's actually, you know, aside from the Jäger bombs, it's actually a really good uh, herbal liqueur. It's very anise forward. I'm not the biggest fan of anise, but uh, it's it's good. You could sub for another herbal liqueur, but I mean, it is called the German Vacation, so it should be Jäger. All right, after that, a three quarter ounce of our ginger liqueur. So a little more ginger than the last one. This should, the flavor should come through nicely. And then three quarter ounce of lemon juice. And that's it for the main components on this one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we forgot. Half an ounce of orgeat. This is a homemade orgeat. I will link to the recipe below. I use the Wee Pearls recipe for orgeat. All right. And this is a crushed ice drink. So we're going to do two scoops of crushed ice in our mixing glass. Flippy move, nice quick whip shake, doesn't have to be long because it's crushed ice. You don't want to go too long or you're going to get too much dilution. Serving, as I mentioned earlier, in a highball. We're going to do a straight dump with our crushed ice. And then we want to top off with more crushed ice. Let's get a straw in there first. All right, get Lewis bag back in here and top it up. 
looking good. Okay, give it a quick mix first. Kind of incorporate uh, that ice into the bottom. There we go. A little more crushed ice on top. Remember, when you make crushed ice drinks, the more crushed ice, the better. All right, so this drink has no garnish, but what we're going to do is we're going to float some Peychaud's bitters on top. So I said five dashes, probably did like more like 10, but just dash it till there's a nice red, bright red top. And there it is, the German vacation. Uh, looks refreshing. Moving on. Okay, alors le pour le prochain, on va utiliser un cognac et notre chartreuse jaune. Celui-ci s'appelle Mon Dernier Mot. Alors, on va commencer avec um, notre cognac courvoisier. Ounce and a half of our cognac here. So, there it is. So, by the way, Mon Dernier Mot is French for my last word. In case you didn't know. After that, we're going to do half an ounce of our ginger liqueur. Straight in. Half an ounce of our yellow chartreuse. You could sub another uh, herbal liqueur if you wanted. And half an ounce as well of lemon juice. There it is. Nice and simple. This one's only got four ingredients. It's got some ice in there. Flippy move. And nice hard shake for 15, 20 seconds. Lovely. Nice foam. All right, let's get our Hawthorne on there. We're also going to um, Double strain that one. We're serving this guy to Nick and Nora. Serve it up. So coupe, any kind of cocktail glass. Um, and then we're gonna do our double strain because I did give it a hard shake. I don't want any ice bits in there. Beautiful color on this one. I love these bright yellow cocktails. For garnish, we're gonna do a piece of candy ginger. Once again, I will link to the recipe I used to make that in the description. And there it is guys, Mon Dernier Mot. Uh, a fantastic little cocktail. Can't wait to try it. All right, for our last one here, we're doing an original cocktail from one of our subscribers, Trevor Rose, with some amazing tropical ingredients. This is an officer and a gentian. What <laughs> a great name. All right, so this one's gonna start with our favorite rum, Smith & Cross. This bottle was actually sent to me by Trevor. Uh, thanks, Trevor. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of Navy Strength rum. So if you don't have Smith & Cross, you want something Navy Strength. All right, after that, we're gonna do half an ounce of our homemade ginger liqueur. Half ounce in the glass. Now this is called an officer and a gentian. Um, that is because we are using Sue's gentian liqueur. So a half an ounce of that and click that link guys. We, I, I recently made two awesome cocktails using Sue's. It's a great liqueur. So uh, check those out. All right, after that, we're gonna do an ounce and a half of mango juice. So this can definitely have some nice tropical vibes to it with all these kind of tiki ingredients, but um, the gentian and, and ginger are not typical tiki, tiki ingredients, so I am very curious about this one. Three quarter ounce of lime juice after that, and half an ounce of honey syrup. This is a three to one honey syrup, three parts honey, one part water. Lastly, we're gonna do a couple dashes of walnut bitters. I have these maple walnut bitters, so I'm gonna use those. Um, whichever kind of nut bitters you have will work just fine. All right, now Trevor did say this is to be flash blended using a drink mixer, which I have. So we're gonna do that, but you could definitely just shake this with crushed ice. So in our drink mixer tin, we're gonna add two scoops of crushed ice. We're gonna Put it on the machine there and get her going. Look at that. It really does a good job of aerating and foaming up the drink. Uh, yeah, better than you could ever do with shaking. So it's not a blender though. This is not blending the drink. It's just mixing very at high speeds. All right, we're gonna serve this guy in a rocks glass. It's nice and chilled. 
straight dump from our mixer tin. Oh, look at that color. Wow, that's good. Give it a nice straw and we're gonna garnish with a dehydrated citrus. Trevor says uh, some mint as well, but I didn't have any mint. So there it is, an officer in a gentian. I cannot wait to try that one and all of these cocktails, which we're gonna do right now. So let's get into tasting, shall we? All right, I'm gonna start with the Hunter's Verdict. Oh, that's delicious. Um, I'm not a huge fan normally of rum old fashioned, like rum sippers, but this is really good. Now I will say I'm not picking up the the um, ginger all that well. There's only a quarter ounce in there, but it is still a fantastic drink. The German Vacation. Mm, very refreshing. Now I'm not a huge fan of anise. I mean, there's there's a um, Jaeger, which is very anise forward and Peychaud's. So it's very anise forward drink. Even then, it's still very refreshing. And for someone who doesn't like that licorice style flavor, this is actually quite refreshing. Uh, not my favorite, but quite good. So I'd recommend it. If you like licorice, definitely try that. Very nice. All right, mon dernier mot. My last word. Oh, that is nice. Um, cognac and lemon up front, and then a nice blend of ginger and those herbals for herbal notes from the chartreuse on the, pa on the back palate. Um, wow, that is a nice sipper. Highly recommend that one. And Trevor, let's try out your drink. Cheers. Oh my God, that's good. I mean, especially with uh, Smith & Cross. Smith & Cross is such a flavorful rum. Um, wow, and so you get the rum and, and you get the, the uh, mango. And then after that complexities, the, the ginger and the gentian play really well together, add a nice uh, flavor on the, on the back. Wow, that is, that is a nice drink. Well done. All right, let's rate these guys. And Trevor, you win. <laughs> My favorite one is Trevor's drink. In second place, I'm gonna give it to Mont Delny Mou. That was a really nice sipper. Uh, third place, I'm gonna give it to this one here. Just not enough ginger for me, but a very nice sipping drink. Last place, the German Vacation, mainly because I'm not the biggest fan of licorice, but it is still a really, really good drink. So guys, I hope you give this a try. Uh, definitely, if you haven't watched it, go check out my recipe for ginger liqueur, so you can make your own, and you can try these and so many other fantastic ginger cocktails. I really hope you give them a try. We'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.